You're just punching that slime, huh? <laughs> this guy's a baller. Can somebody else help you? You're over here just punching this slime and it's taking forever, dog. Welcome, everybody, to the Falcon One-Shot. On the agenda, we have Era of Majesty here today. Era of Majesty is kind of really akin to the very successful kingdom, which I have covered in the channel in the past. And I think recently we had something like Life is Hard that came out, which is kind of similar to that aspect. As you can probably imagine, it's going to be one of those um, civilization-building games and a bit of an RTS side-scroller type of feel. Really, really fun and endearing. The graphic of this game, or at least the graphics for the game, are really, really nice. The music especially is on point, I gotta say. Um, but other than that, the game is still early development. I think the developer told me it's about like 20 or 30 percent done. So there's definitely a lot of um, time to get this completed still ahead of us. So as we start off over here, we'll have a bit of a tutorial. I kind of know what I need to do, but I think I might have to um, go through this here again. So, uh, welcome to the Era of Majesty. Press space to continue. This is a basic tutorial. Yeah, you're telling me. Uh, on this panel, you can open the main windows. There is actually no panel right there. You're, you're pointing at the sky, my friend. Storage. Here you can see how many slots you have. And it's going to be our storage right here momentarily. Craft. Here you can craft items. You are not wrong about that. Building. Here you can place blueprints for buildings. Got it. And human control window. Here you can change equ equipment of the units and increase their stats. Um, as you can probably imagine, this is not um, you know an American team, so there's going to be a lot of um, not even American, but you know it's there are I believe it's a Russian team, so you'll probably notice a few issues with the grammar and you know certain word usage, but just you know keep that in mind. Not really a big deal. We understand what they're trying to say. That's the important part here. Uh, this is a task panel. You're right. So we have. Let me just speed run what he's saying here. This is going to be for chopping down trees. This is going to be for mining rocks. This is going to be to gather. This is going to be to hunt. The game actually calls it the kill feature. And technically you are killing stuff, but I prefer hunt. I, I want to hunt animals, not just kill them like I'm, you know, some sort of like crazy psychopath over here. And the T's going to be to cancel out an additional um, project that we have set up. So let's just go ahead and speed through this here. Yeah, I got you, dog. Don't you worry one bit. I got you. A and D to move around. Yes. And now choose. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell me what to do. I I'll do when I'm ready, okay? So, let's start off with grabbing some of the old wood over here. So we want to go into our chopping feature and have them work on these trees over here. And if we can as well, we're going to also need some stones and some coal. So we'll go into our mining feature and we'll say let's mine through here and mine through here. Right now we only have three individuals, so um, as you progress with the game randomly, I want to say, you'll have more dudes actually join the party, which is actually pretty good. Early on, the game is a bit of a grind because there's only three dudes and they're kind of, you know, really slow about going, about their, you know, resource gathering over here. But as you progress, you'll have some more people just join randomly. Now, you are not doing much, so I'm going to have you go ahead and start gathering resources for us. So once you have, like, you know, logs and stones over here mined or chopped down, you have to go ahead and collect them. Now, with the collecting feature, it should be noted that it's not going to be obvious that they're going to do it. So you have to remember that you went ahead and you selected a batch of items to be collected. Because unlike, um, say, mining or chopping down trees, we have this little icon. There's no indication that you're doing it for resource collecting, so just keep that in mind. Alright. Um, we could hunt, but honestly... Well, I guess we could probably hunt to show off that feature here. Yeah. Let me come over here. There's going to be more tutorials if I'm right. Human control? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will tell you their, their strength of attack, their HP, their agility, which is their critical chance. This will be their magic damage, and this will be their, their will to actually work, so... Yeah, yeah, I got a game. Yeah. And if you want them to attack or even hunt, you have to set them up as a guard feature. So, for instance, if I have PETA over here set up as a guard, PETA will be able to go ahead and hunt for us. So, let's actually try that out here really quickly. We'll go into... Uh, let's go ahead and hunt down a little chicken man over here. Alright, so... There you go. PETA is going to be our female little colonist over here. She's going to be the hunter. So, uh, it should be noted that the boars will run away from you. So, I do believe if you want to kill boars, you're going to have to more than likely equip yourself with a bow at some point because they're going to outrun you really, really easily over here. Oh, we got some wool for that one as well. Great. Yeah, kill some more of these. Why not? And let's see. Let's go back to our gathering. There's some coal over there, which is great. We're going to need that to make our forge here pretty soon. Great, I think this should be enough to get the workbench up and running. So, you've done that. Now, PETA, I need you to go back to um, resource gathering as well, so let's get you off of guard. There you go. I need to go back to doing that. Now, let's come over here. I'm going to have another tutorial here. This will tell you about, you know, what makes what. So, yeah, yeah. 
And we might have one over here as well. I'll, I'll explain this a little bit easier when I'm ready for it, but the game kind of takes its time doing it. So for buildings, obviously, if we want to get a workbench up and running, we need 18 logs. One of my biggest complaints about the game right now is the fact that it's kind of really obtuse when it comes to explaining things to you. So for instance, I could use my common sense to tell you workbench requires 18 logs because it looks like a log. But if we come down to, say, house, right? And I look at this over here, I'm trying to figure out what the hell these items are. Oh, by the way, when you have enough items to make it, uh, you'll see the little red box. It goes away, so we have already have enough... Uh, logs to make the house for instance but everything else over here as you can imagine if I hover over it doesn't tell me what the hell it is so what I could do then is go into the crafting menu and play like you know match the icons over here and be like okay if I go to the house that is gonna be an iron bar maybe iron ingot so it would be nice if you could just easily straight up tell what do I need just by hovering over it so I hope that's something they add pretty soon it's a minor complaint but it's kind of a big one especially if you're over here building on the fly so right now we need the workbench, which requires 18 logs, and I do believe we already have 18 logs. We have 22, so yeah, we're more than ready for that. So let's go ahead and go into building, and we'll do workbench. Where's our little setup here? So we'll do the workbench. Um, workbench. Build that over here for now. Sounds pretty good. And here comes Peter to build that. Meanwhile, let's get out of buildings, and let's make sure that we're gathering everything else that we've left behind here. So I want the meat and the wool. The sop. Again, so there's no notification about what you're collecting. I have to always double check just to be on the safe side here. Alrighty, so our workbench should be going up pretty soon. What's next? We want the forge as well. For this, we need 16 stone, which we don't have just yet. We also need 8 planks. I know that's a plank because I've made it before, but again, it doesn't tell you what it is. But we will be able to make these from the workbench, and then we need 6 coal. Uh, we only have 4 coal, so we still have to go probably mine a few more rocks, or if we're lucky, we'll find some coal in this little pile right over here. But our workbench is up and running, so meanwhile, we can go to our workbench and start making some wooden planks. So, it does seem that one log turns into two um, planks for us here. So, how many logs do we have? 29? Oh, we're fine. So, we'll go over here and be like, uh, can you scroll this if I'm right? No, you can't, huh? So, you can't give it an indication. You have to kind of um, just click a few times. Three four. Well, since we need eight and one log makes uh, two planks, we should only have to click it four times, right? So there you go. Four times two is eight. <laughs> I do know basic mathematics that much, I will tell you. So let's have this over here be gathered up as well. How's our coal situation? Four. Uh, not looking too great. We might have to mine a bit more. So you know what? Let's come over here and get this mining done. Oh, that's for the crystals to be mined. Gotcha. That's for magician stuff. Set this up here, too. Alrighty. So early on, as you could probably imagine, there's a bit of a time investment in this game. They really have three people, so things get done a bit slowly. So if you're over here looking to finish stuff fast, you're going to have to hold your horses because it takes a while. And I'm not sure when we're getting our fourth individual. It just happens at the end of the day, if I'm right. So we just kind of have to wait and just, um, you know, deal with the punches here meanwhile. I really wish there was like a fast forward feature. They don't move slow, but early on, you know, if you're kind of in a hurry here, it does take a little bit of time. How much coal do we have now? Four. Wooden planks? We have eight. Perfect. So that did work out as I expected it to. Collect these rocks, and you're over here. Perfect. You know what? I don't really don't care about the magic stuff right now, so you can just cancel that. Yeah, just go back to resource gathering. Four coal. So we're still missing two more to make our forge over here. Buildings, forge, bom, bom, bom. Oh, we're also missing stone still, really. Well, I mean, we basically have it. All we have to do is just collect it. There it is, 16 already. But the collecting feature is just a bit slow at the moment, and we could definitely use a fourth individual right now, but it's not really showing up. There's the piece of coal that we need. Good God almighty. Look, I just want the coal. <laughs> Forget about the stone, okay? If I can get this forge up and running before the end of the video, I'll be happy. There it is. Okay. What is this? What are you telling me? Oh, we have a uh, quarry at level 2. So just working has um, indeed leveled her up. Or leveled him up. And we could drop some stats over here as well. Let's go into a little bit more willpower and some more strength would be nice. Okay. Let's go into our buildings. Forge it is. We have everything required for it. Let's build it. And we'll set this bad boy up right on over here. And since I want to get rid of uh, this little issue next to me, let's remove this crystallis thing here momentarily. So let's go into mining. Somebody get this um, 
magical thing out of the way. Oh, we have a fort dude. When did you show up, buddy? Well, I'm not sure where you showed up, but I'm actually happy to see you. We have Kawawa. You have nothing equipped, though, so I'll have to make something for you here with the forge, more than likely. Okay. Of course, we have to get the forge up and running. So once that's up and running, what do we do here? Uh, food, okay. We have some food. We have placeables. We have a crate. Oh, so check this out. Maybe if you just uh, make the crates, they'll actually... I guess work as the storage is instead. So why why is this a storage? Oh, you know what? This is, this is a huge building. A huge storage building, which would require all that stuff. But if we want something smaller, like say for this over here, we could go into... Is it raining? Oh, it's raining. I've never seen rain before. That's pretty neat. I mean, I've seen rain in real life, but I mean in the game. Smartass. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and make a few more planks then. So... All we need is like two, right? One, two. That should be enough. And... You guys need to collect it. Collected. Yup. There's one more right there, though. Excuse me. Oh, you're gonna do it. <laughs> Why? Uh, from across the screen. I got it, guys! I got it! Okay. Good on you. So now if we do that, we go over here to the crate and, let's see, craft. Crate, we'll place you, like, uh, where's my little storage area? Oh, those are my crates right here, so we can just place you right here. Did I place you? Thought I placed you. Okay. Place you right here. Can, can you just place, be placed somewhere? So that's really, okay, so that's really confusing. So for instance, when you place down the workbenches, you have to right-click, but when you put down the storage crates, you have to left-click. Why? I don't know, but that's how it works. We could do a fire pit if we want to. Saplings, weapon rack, alrighty, here we go, here we go. Pickaxe. That's what we need for some more workers here, so... Let's see if we get a longbow. Oh, you require some fancy stuff here. Magic. We need some fancier stuff as well. Great sword, war axe, iron sword. Get some armor up and running as well, too. Alrighty. Let's see about possibly getting ourselves... Uh, let's see, iron ingot. We'll probably need some of those here pretty soon. Stone bricks. Let's go ahead and craft these bad boys here. So we'll do, like, uh, stone. How many stones do we have? 27. So... Craft a few of these over here, meanwhile. And if you can't, collect them as well. Excuse me. Collect. And might as well collect those too. So once you get some more people into your party, you'll obviously be able to progress a bit faster, and that's actually pretty notable now that we have a Fort Dude over here. Um, I do want to get at least a tool for him, though, so... What I, what I guess you could do is just equip these guys with different... So for instance, Kuari, you have the pickaxe. You, when you level them up, you give them a second different weapon. So they can either do, you know, mining, and then you can give them an axe probably, and they'll do mining, and then also chopping out of trees. I get you. So for, let's try out an axe here then. How about that? Alrighty, guys. So let's take a look at this um, a bit more closer. I skipped ahead here. Um, there's actually an easier way to get coal, which I just figured out. You don't have to worry too much about um, finding the rocks or stones to mine. If you make a fire pit, which we have the requirements to make, the fire pit is actually going to give you access to making your own coal by burning logs, so that's another easy way to go about it. So if you do that, now we have the fire pit over here ready. We can now make coal, so let's see. I still want to make that axe, right? We still need two coals, I'm going to say. So, don't we need coal as well for the iron ingot? We do. And how much wood do we have at the moment? We have 17. That should be enough to make a few coals. So let's go into 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's make a few of these here if we can. So that'll be made, and once that's made, we'll come over here and gather it up. And that should give us enough coal to possibly make the iron ingots. Oh, but the problem is for the iron ingots, we're missing iron ore. There's no other way to make iron ore, is there? No, you probably have to just mine that one for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's no shortcut when it comes to iron ore. For that one, you legitimately have to find it. And how many do we have? We've, we've brought down a ton of rocks, and we've only acquired one iron ore. So, that'll give you an idea about that one. Oh, there's some enemies here, though! Slimies! Okay! Uh, hold up, hold up, guys. Let me see if I can get you... Oh, somebody actually died! Someone legitimately died. So, if I want to set up a kill feature here... You're, you're punching him. And Kawari punching. Okay. So here's our first little raid. So yes, there are enemies in the game, it just takes a while to actually start happening over here.
But we did lose an individual here, I guess, when I was um, trying to figure out about the call here. You're just punching that slime, huh? <laughs> this guy's a baller. Can somebody else help you? You're over here just punching this slime and it's taking forever, dog. What I could do is just remove him from guard duty. And cancel that out. No, no, Kawawa, please stop. Some people have been seen near town. Oh, we have a raid. Uh-oh. This person is dual wielding great swords or something. How dare you? All right, let's just set up a guard. We're going to probably die right now, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's go in for the kill over here. We have no weapons, mind you, so we're going to probably get wrecked. Although, we're doing a pretty good job of fighting this person off. Yeah, we killed her. We damn well killed her. We have Pete over here. Let's level up Pete. I'll get you some more HP. Some more strength. All righty. And there you guys go. At least we were able to see a, a little raid as well. Oh, my God. We still have a ton of slimes here. Tons of slimes. Kill the old slimes. Yeah, buddy. All right, you guys. So we're going to wrap it up here. Really, really fun game. I'm actually kind of, um, now that I saw the raids, I haven't seen the raids before, but now that I saw those two, I'm a bit more intrigued in the game for a fact. If you enjoyed, description below should have all the requirements in terms of if you want to check it out on Steam for your own accord. Really fun game. I'm definitely going to keep my eyes on development on this one, and, um, you know, it is what it is. I'll catch you guys next time. Get those slimes!